Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 90. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a beautiful time, December 5th. Oh, my God, our 90th episode. I'm going to keep going until I hit 5,000th episode. <laughs> We're going to keep going because there's so many different aspects to business. Entrepreneurs, it is time to close out those books for 2023, start to gather our our taxes and get ready to be grateful for what we do have to report, whether this is your first year or your fifth year or your 10th year. This is awesome. This is super, super awesome. And so I want you to know that business development is a course that takes a very, you know, patient opportunity here. And on top of that, we need to recognize that um, as we're moving through this journey, there are going to be times that, you know, it took me forever to meet the wonderful people that I now have encountered. I swear it took me forever. So my point of telling you this, entrepreneurs, is to let you know that you cannot give up because this very millisecond you were going to give up was the second that everything was exactly going to change and the door would be open. So you got to keep, you know, jabbing away at it. You got to keep picking away at it in order to understand that things will change. The right people will show up. The right people are showing up um, all along. And this is what I'm finding because I'm putting it all together now, like the pieces of a puzzle and entrepreneurs, this is what I'm finding. I'm finding that the reason why I was dealing with so many lows and highs and in between in business through client base, through developing the craft, through creating the brand was because I needed to meet those individuals because that was what was blocking. That was my mental states was what was blocking that opportunity. And whatever I was seeing was coming to me to show me something. It sounds mundane. It sounds ridiculous. But the chaos, the everything that I've experienced through this journey, entrepreneurs, I have to tell you, was to make me more in-depth to understand what I needed to know about me in order to be a success in where I am today. (laughs) So as a Chronicles entrepreneur, where I share my highs and lows in my journey, I share them with individuals who need it the most. This is not like uh, a podcast where I have to push it out to the world. I get it out to the people, the very individuals who are near me. I don't even promote it. I don't advertise Chronicles of a Nonprofit. If someone runs into this series, it's because they are, the algorithm generated it and you received it. And it may be for you, you know. Um, However, these are for my individual businesses, my individual clients, and I am so grateful. So to make a long story short, what you need to do is recognize that you can't give up. And that's what today's podcast is all about. Do not give up. Whether you're on in life and things are not going the way that you planned them to go, don't give up. Something greater is coming later. And I had to recognize that. I had to recognize that when I was incarcerated. I needed to recognize that when I was a single parent. I had to recognize that when I was unemployed, when I had lost my job, when I I also had to recognize that when I was having good times being a single parent, when my children were making me the, the proudest, you know, graduations, um, you know, recitals, you know, um, competitions. These are things that we must be grateful for when they're happening. Because gratitude 
creates the pathway and the portal to get us through where we need to be, truly. And, you know, sometimes as parents, even in that pathway, we have to realize that we have to allow our children to grow. We have to allow them to learn the lessons that we have taught based upon our mentality as a, as a parent in general, especially if we've done our part. So we can't judge our, our abilities as a parent. We don't need to. We don't need to compare and contrast what we did better, what we did worse. We just did what we had to do. Okay. So I want you to be mindful of that when you're in the journey of what you're going through. You know, beautiful people. There are so many beautiful people around me right now. I mean, and I know that this is supposed to be. And this is why I'm documenting this right now, because I want to remember this emotional feeling. I want to remember the happiness so I can gain more of it. And I want you to do the same. I want you to be able to gain more of the good times. So when you sit back and look at the past, because all you have there is a reminder of what took place and how you reviewed it. So as you're elevating yourself and you're, you're growing and you're seeing these individuals coming at you to teach you the lesson of how to become stronger, how to become more intuitive, how to become more discerning, how to become more elevated in how you're going to build your craft, you're learning from the people who look like you, what you're giving out. And I'm learning that right now. So there's going to be a shift in the way that I report the Chronicles. I'm not going to always be talking about the negative anymore because this is a new day. This is a new time. 2024 is a new vibrant energy of expecting more, not just physically, not just mentally, but expecting more in 2024 is about the process of how we're going to accept and appreciate because someone can expect more and be a hoarder. How much more of what it is you're looking for is going to elevate you to be your better self, to be your more intuitive self, to be your more vibrant self. That's where we are in 2024. So to every entrepreneur that has touched, you know, um, my heart in 2023, we're going to be inviting you to a gala, a night of elegance regarding business development. And that is coming up and you will be invited, Sonora SVP, and only those who are in the know, in the circle, in the connect, they're the ones that's going to be invited. So look out for that in your personal uh, DMs or your actual text area. I just want to say that as we're going through this beautiful time, closing out our, you know, 2023, I dare you to do some candle reflection. Now, candle reflections are when you get into a quiet space, say your sanctuary, you might be in your living room, you might be in your area where you have just an altar or something to make you think and meditate. Well, we light about three candles. Three is for the reflection of mind, body, spirit, father, son, whole, um, mother, um, father, daughter, mother, um, in any of the Trinity thoughts, the three things you can think, high, mid, low, any of those things that you can actually think of right? Hold on one second. Any of the things that we could think about. And then we light the candles one by one from left to right. You're going from your past into your future. You're merging things together. And then from there, you write a journal, maybe a page, maybe a page and a half, maybe two pages. And then you do it at a time when you're not going to be disturbed, probably about one o'clock, two o'clock, three in the morning or whenever 
you know, you are free and you're in your home and you have your private time. So then when you do that, after you're done writing, you close the journal and you just look at the candles, each one, however you mindfully organize them, whether it's money, whether it's business, whether it's personal, you know, you label those three candles to represent whatever it is you're focusing on. Okay. Whether it's a new business, whether it's a new concept in the business, whatever it is. And then you say to yourself mentally, I'm going to let the fire dance so you can bring it physically connected to you so you can see it manifesting and you continue to think on that thought and you watch the flames. And when you can see the flames moving in a direction, you just recognize what you're thinking about at that particular moment. The flames are going to dance, but more likely, if everything is still and at peace, it's going to just be there. It's going to be a, um, it's going to be a, just a steady flame. In that, what's happening is you're maneuvering through your manifestation and you're finding things to be grateful for. You're finding things to work out for yourself, you know, even in the midst of all kind of hell and chaos, it's very difficult to be grateful for that because it's teaching you something. You're learning something at that particular moment. And many of us are meeting together on this pathway in this journey to share our stories, but not stay in the story. Don't stay in the past so much that you live there. Don't stay in the past so much that you live there because what will happen is you'll resonate the past and you'll continue to live it and it's going to constantly be on the forefront of your thoughts to where you can't open another door you and your higher power your your higher power is even stuck because you're not going to be able to open the door to the success you need because you're still stuck there yeah this is a practice here and i am so grateful to my past and to all those in my past. But what happens is if it is not part of my present moment and my future, my past can't go there. It's just something to remember. Now, a lot of times we can become emotionally attached and drawn to those things, especially those things that made us feel our greatest at a time. If we don't know how to get out of that time and move into the now, the reality of the time now will never be able to manifest anything new, better, or more significant for the journey in which we're trying to go. Many people stay stuck in that area. I don't want you to do that. As a, as a leader in your life, as a leader moving through, growing, and raising children to be as mature as they can grow, we need to be very mindful of how we're living our lives, what we're taking into our present moment. Because again, you know that feeling when you open up a gift and it's all yours and you don't know what it is, but you're just super excited because someone thought of you, someone cared enough about you to give you something. And then that something that they give you is connected in and 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 tied into the journey in which you're going, not the very thing that has stuck you in the past, but where you're going. It shows that they took the time to care enough about you to even recognize that you were valued enough to be thought about. Give gratitude to that, entrepreneurs, because that is the thing that is going to make you elevate it to move forward, push forward, push forward. And with that, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you for 
walking in the shoes you're rocking because you, you're walking looking good, baby. You're looking good. Put down in the comments, I'm walking in the shoes I'm rocking and I'm doing a damn thing. Put that in the chat. Put that down in the comment box. Let others know that this is a journey that you're walking and you're appreciative. You're grateful for it. You're empowered by it. Because that is the thing that's going to motivate you to be soul, all that, and ultimate. And, you know, starting in 2024, I'm going to have to get my channel upgraded. I promised some people I was going to go live, me in person, not behind the scenes. But a lot of this podcast episode for the Chronicles, for the other um, series that I do, I felt that I was not even needed to be in the spotlight for it. But now that I'm Dr. Darina Shine TV here on YouTube, I'm going to start to do live videos again. And we're going to be going live in person, not behind the scene, but right in your face. Okay. And we're going to grow from that in 2024. We're going to make this a great year for Dr. Darina Shine TV here on YouTube because you guys make this what it is. And I'm going to start promoting more. I'm going to start advertising more. And then I'm going to start interactively putting, you know, beautiful things together so that we know which way we're going. So with that, be blessed and we'll see you next time.